Okay, I got halfway through a forum post trying to explain this one and I realised that this would just be a lot easier in video, so here goes. Alright, with your control surfaces you want as little play as possible. Okay, this is my F22 V1 and it's about the first plane that I got it right with. And that's about what you're looking for. Now, I use nylon control horns and the nylon clevis. As you can see, there's left and right play, but there's nothing up and down. It's all very good. When you do your servo, you need to make sure that you've got a similar little amount of play. When you take your control surface, you need to make sure it butts up well and that your tape is enough to cope with top and bottom, just to hold it nice and in place. The more space you have in there, the worse it's going to be. This is my Easy Fly trainer, which is built out of spare parts. And you see, it's got a lot of slop in it, nothing really fits well. I just threw it together in a hurry for a mate to learn to fly. As you can see, there's a lot of play in there. And the holes are oversized at the back. So there's a lot of play in there as well. That all leads to your control surfaces being able to wobble around without being controlled by the control rod. It gives it that free play. When you're looking at slop, those are the first things you want to get rid of. Make sure that your control rods fit snugly in the control horn and the servo arm. The next thing you want to consider is a long unsupported control rod. Alright, they flex, and that flex will move your control surface. Okay, when you get pressure on that, it will actually cause slop in flight. If your tape hinges aren't butted up against each other well enough, this is what ends up happening. Okay, lets it flutter, lets it move it around because the tape can't hold it firmly. It'll wobble a bit, pull the tape off a little bit at a time, the tape will stretch, and this is what you get. All it takes is a little attention to detail. Make sure your clevis fits your control horn. Make sure your control rod fits your servo arm. Make sure your control surfaces are butted up and taped front and back. And that you're not using long unsupported control arms that just aren't up to the top. That little bit of care and attention and you'll be up and flying in no time.